Today I will show you how to make this displacement glitch effect. Alright guys, so the first thing you want to do is press Ctrl Y to make a new adjustment layer. And now we can add an optional effect which is S Tint, which will just give us some color. You can also add just Tint and that will work just fine. And here we need to go to the colors and just make it like purple or whatever you want. Like you can make it like this color or whatever. Just I like pink here, so I'll just use pink. And now we need to add a plugin, which is a free plugin called Displacer Pro. Now you really should have this plugin because it's one of the best plugins out there. And what I like to do here is just mess around with the Translate X and y number so i make these numbers very random so i can't like give you like an exact number but i like to just make something like 54 here maybe and that uh, translate y to 91 i just did whatever i just wanted and you can also like mess around with the rotate like it will rotate out like this so you can have like crazy displacement effects like that just looks insane the mess around with, like the scale and the anchor there's so much possibilities here it's crazy and now we can add another plugin which is called signal now with signal i like to go to luma modulation and turn off the tape errors and here I like to make the cutoff filter to very high. I like to make it to like 41788. Yeah, now that's starting to look amazing. You can already save this as a preset like that is one of the coolest effects you might find. Uh, but we can keep going. So I like to also make the hue noise to 116. That's going to change the color. And now we can add S flicker, another optional effect. Uh, here I like to make the amplitude to 0 0.45. And the last effect I like to add here is deep glow. Now we don't need this, but I just like the glow. And here I like to make it to like 0. 8 i think yeah and i also like to like keep him the exposure at the start and go to the ending a bit because th this is the clip i'm going to have it on so actually let me press Control shift d, d select here delete i like to start it like a couple of frames before the next clip so like maybe here now let's go here and press Control d look how that looks on that clip that is insane so yeah this is a crazy displacement effect just just look at that that is absolutely wild now what you can do with this effect is like go to like the displacer pro keep him the translate x and you can make that just go a bit further like make it go to like 95 maybe i don't know just a very random number press u make it maybe go here like you can select both the keyframes press f9 go to the graph editor and maybe like select it like this and yeah, you can do this with any of these keyframes just like really mess around like another thing i like to do is like when i'm transitioning i like to press Control d to duplicate it to have it duplicated like this like for two frames i think so let me select two frames and that's going to look like this which is crazy I, you can also add like invert and you can add it on top of deep cool here and then it's going to look like this yeah this just creates uh, an insane effect i mean just look at that and another thing i like to do with this effect is i like to add some of flicker effects on top of it so you can check out my intense flicker tutorial for some flicker effects and you can just add it on top of here so you can press ctrl toy and add some flicker effects but i'm just going to save some time here and i'm just going to add an effect from my flicker presets pack if you guys don't know i have a povicas.com website where i sell video editing assets and one of those assets is flicker presets which is an insane pack so if you type flicker and you have the pack you can go to flicker heavies and here you can add like flicker heavy one for example and it's going to look crazy it's going to do this like little blur right here with a lot of glow yeah it looks absolutely crazy i'm actually going to delete this other keyframe because it makes it hard to see and yeah, just look how that looks on this effect before and after it's kind of crazy and another thing i like to do is add some other effects so like press ctrl y and you can uh, cut it up a bit like for the last frames, this is like a transition I like to do and make it go below the new flicker effect. Like here we can call it flicker. And right here, I like to go to flicker effects and add flicker darkness glow v2. And now it's going to look like this. This is actually one of my favorite effects in After Effects. Yeah, this is how you make those insane transitions that you see on edits, music videos, whatever. Just combining effects and you will get like a transition that looks like this. But yeah, and also for supporting the channel, I would like to give you a $5 discount code on the Flickr presets pack, which is called Bobikas. You can use it to save $5 off on the Flickr presets pack. But anyways, it was fun. Have a fun and productive day. See ya.